On Monday night, Canadians gave the Liberal Party a majority government. We replaced a tough-on-crime Prime Minister, who called cannabis infinitely worse than tobacco, with one who promises to legalize the plant right away. In the words of Liberal leader Justin Trudeau, our next Prime Minister, we replace fear with hope. But for proponents of cannabis legalization in Canada, our work isn't over yet. Trudeau and the Liberals must be held to their word. On Tuesday, Trudeau said he's committed to keeping his campaign promises, but it could take weeks for the new government to finish its transition into power. This process includes the creation of a new cabinet, which Trudeau says will be completed November 4th. Realistically, it may take years before cannabis is legal and a regulated market is implemented in Canada. Trudeau hasn't given a firm timeline for legalization, and his party's election campaign platform didn't contain regulatory specifics or any indication of how the current medical cannabis system could be changed or expanded. Furthermore, while the federal government can quickly remove cannabis possession and use from the criminal code, according to the Liberals, it will need to work with the provinces and territories in order to establish cannabis sales. Still, owners of Canadian medical cannabis companies are optimistic. Robert Josephson, president of WeedMD, a medical cannabis grower waiting for final approval from Health Canada, says marijuana entrepreneurs are all smiling because the future will now, hopefully, be accelerated. He added that just the election results alone will open people's eyes. The stigma has been greatly reduced, and I think it will be further reduced. According to Hugo Alves, a cannabis industry attorney with law firm Bennett Jones, Canada is already positioned to transition to a mass market system, thanks to the Harper government's new medical cannabis access regulations which may have inadvertently laid the foundation for a recreational cannabis market. Unfortunately, this could also mean that small cannabis shops will continue to be squeezed out, leaving the industry in corporate control. But until the Liberal government officially takes over and begins the process of legalizing cannabis, Canadians can only speculate and offer input into how the system should look.